Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be installing the LSPD Pack 2025 again. Uh, this this time we're going to be installing version 2.1.0. First thing, scroll down. You want to find this right here. It's the vehicle pack that was used. You can go ahead and this, open link in new tab. And you want to go ahead and go to that new tab. And you want to go ahead and hit download this file. And you want to hit this one. This is the newest version. And you go ahead and let that download. Then you're going to move on, move back to the LSPD Pack 2025. And you want to hit download this file on the newest version. Again, in this case, 2.1.0. Hit download. All right, you're gonna let that download. All right. Once once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up the WinRars form. For first of all, you want to get the sheriff pack, and you want to also open up OpenIV while you're at it and make sure edit mode is turned on. All right. In WinRar, you want to go to sheriff pack, sheriff pack blue or sheriff pack. This is dependent on what lights you want. If you want all blue, then you can go ahead and select this one. And if you want red and blue, then you want to select this one. All right, in OpenIV, you want to go to Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs. And you want to go ahead and drag and drop. You're going to drag and drop whichever one you'd like. Alright, just make sure it's there. For me it is. Alright, next up, go ahead and go to back to GTA 5. Mods, update, update.rpf, common, data. And you want to find DLC list.xml. Right click and hit edit. All right, now that we have the DLC list open, you can go ahead and find your last line here. And you're going to want to hit Control and D at the same time. That will duplicate that line. And you want to go down here between the slashes here, between these two slashes. And you want to go ahead and backspace all that. And you're going to want to go over to the winner here. And whichever one you want, if you picked all blue, you can go with this one. If you want a red and blue, then go with this one. But either way, what you want to do, you're going to hit rename, then hit control and C. At the same time, that'll copy it. Go in between the slashes right here and hit control and V at the same time. Well pasted. All right. Now you can go ahead and hit save. All right. Next up, you're going you're to need your GCA5 directory. So you're going to want to open it up. It'll be in the path on screen. You want to go ahead in here, hit ELS. If you want the red and blue version of the lights, then select red and blue. If you want all blue, then go with blue and blue. But either way, here in this case, I want to select red and blue. You go in here, you're going to see all these little XML files. All right, now since you have your your Auto 5 directory open, you're going to navigate to ELS, Pack Default, and you're going to want to drag all of these things in. And once that's done, that'll be it for the Sheriff Pack. You can go ahead and close this WinRAR. Keep your GCA directory open because you're going to need it again later. All right, now you can open the LSPD Pack 2025. And you want to navigate to Vehicle Textures. And you want to select Marked. All right, now, now in OpenIV, you want to navigate to the path on screen, which is Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs. And you want to go find Sheriff Pack. For me, it's down here. 
open it up, go to dlc.rpf, x64, vehicles.rpf, and you're going to find all these little files. You're going to scroll down to where you see texture dictionary, and everything you need is going to be below here. All right, now back in Winter, you want to select 2011 CVPI. What you want to do, you want to open up cvpi.ytd. And you want, what, you want to find the texture file for the CVPI here. Or in this case, it's going to be CVPI or Victoria Sign 1. All right. As you can see, we've found it. Now, what you want to do, you want to go over to your to your WinRAR, and you're going to want to drag and drop, and boom. That's the Crown Victoria textures installed. So you want to hit save. And of course, wait till it saves. All right, now in WinRAR, you can go ahead over here. And now we're going to do the 2018 Dodge Charger. So you're going to go ahead and open that. And you want to go ahead and find 18charger.ytd. Or in this case, we have a plus high here as well. And you want to replace this. Then you want to hit save. And then you're going to find the normal.yte. You're going to open that up. And you want to do the same thing. You want to scroll down and find sign. And as you can see, we found it right here. The recharge sign one. All right, so what you want to do, you're going to drag these two. You're going to highlight them. Drag and drop. And again, you want to go down and hit save. All right, and the next vehicle we're going to do is the 2020 Explorer. So what you want to do here, you're going to find 2020 Explorer, open it up, and you want to find 20 FPIU right here. You open it up. And you want to scroll and find the texture right here. And once again, do the same thing again. Drag and drop. And you want to go ahead and hit save. All right. And now we're moving on to the 2021 Durango. So open it up. And you want to go ahead and find 21durango.ytd. And you want to go ahead and open it up. And right here, the delivery is right here, right in front of us. Drag, drop these. And there you go. That's the Durango done. All right, and now we're moving on to the 2021 Tahoe. Go ahead and open it up. All right, you want to find 21 Tahoe. And as you can see, we once again have a plus high.ytd file. So you want to open it up. And you want to drag and drop. And then 21 Tahoe. Again, you want to find the normal YTD file. And you want to find the sign or the livery for it. And if you can't find it, then you can always just go up here, go to search, and look up just sign. And you'll see it's right here. And you have to drag and drop.
And you can see they are appearing just like they should. All right. Just hit save again. And you want to do the 2022 F-150 now. Go ahead and open that up. And here you can find the 22F150.YTD right here. Go ahead and open it up. And you go ahead and go to search. And hit sign. See, there's a sign right there. And you want to drag and drop these two once again. And you want to hit save. All right, now we're going to move on to the 2023 RAM. So you go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and find 23RAM.YT. All right, and you want to look up sign in here as well. And you're going to go ahead and drag and drop. And you want to hit save. All right, and now we're all we're done with all the mark textures. Now we can move on to the ghosted textures. All right, for ghosted textures, first one we want to do is the 18 charger. So if you want to open that up here, you're going to see four files here. What you want to do, you want to find 18 charger select this time. You're looking for the select dot Go ahead and open that up, and go ahead and look up. Sign, and it may be blank here. It should be blank actually. And you want to drag and drop. And that's going to do its thing. And you want to hit save. All right. Next, we're going to do the twenty twenty explorer. Let me go ahead and open that up. And you want to find 20 FPIU.YTD. Or 20 FPIU slick, sorry. And you want to go ahead and open that up. And you want to look up once again, sign. And drag and drop. And you go ahead and hit save. All right, now we're on to the 2021 Durango. Go ahead and open that up. All right, now in your open IV, you want to look for Durango Slick, which is right here, 21 Durango Slick. Go ahead and open that up. Once again, look up Sign. And you want to drag and drop. All right. Now we want to move on to the 2021 Tahoe. Uh, open that up. And you want to find 21 Tahoe dot, or 21 Tahoe slick dot YTD. And you want to go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and look up sign. And, and you want to go ahead and drag and drop. All right, now you want to move on to the 2022 F-150. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to find 22 F-150 slick, because you can see it's right here. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and search again and look up sign. All right, I'm going to drag and drop. And hit save. All right, that is all for the textures. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the Metafix. So you want to go ahead and go back into the main archive here. And you want to click on Metafix. And click on whichever whichever one you picked. If you did blue on blue, then go ahead and do that. 
if you did red and blue, then go ahead and do that. I did red and blue, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And vehicles.meta. All right. Now what you want to do, you want to use this, use this back arrow here. You're going to hit back. Back again. And back one more time. All right. Now you're going to see this DLC to RPF. You're going to go ahead and open it up and hit data. All right. Now you're going to see a vehicles.meta. You want to go ahead and just drag and drop. All right. Now the next thing you want to do, you can go ahead and minimize your open IV. And you want to go ahead and open up the ELS change folder. And again, Select if you if you went blue and blue, then go ahead and select blue. If you did red and blue, then go ahead and select that. I did red and blue, so I'm going to select it. Right, you're going to see all these XMLs again. So now what you want to do, you're going to go ahead and open up your GTA directory. I have a shortcut on my desktop for it, but I will pop up the pathway on screen at once again. All right, now you want to navigate to ELS and pack default. And you want to go ahead and drag and drop. And once that's done, it, it you should get a replace prompt and go ahead replace. All right, and now you are done. All right, now we're, let's go ahead fire up our game and see how it runs. All right, now that we are in game, we're going to go ahead and hit F3. Go to vehicle spawning down to added vehicles menu I'm going to open that up and we're just going to start spawning some vehicles in so first things first we're going to spawn the mark charger so it'll be 18 charger go ahead and spawn it in as you can see it should spawn in and this is what it looks like and if you want to change the livery I'd hit livery and you can change from supervisor to non-supervisor Alright, next vehicle, and this is menu that I'm using by the way, so delete that. Alright, 20 FPIU, we'll try to mark, by the mark variant of it. Alright, as you can see, turn the lights on. And you have a custom pattern here. Let's go to, go to our whale tone. As you can see, we have custom light patterns for all the different stages. All right, next. We're going to try the 21 Tahoe. All right, as you can see, it's right here. And same deal here. Not sure if it had a, it does have a civil roads variant. There we go. 